Hey everyone, hope you're all doing well. Just wanted to throw out a little video here. Uh, just saying this week is the first week we've been starting off with our Zoom classes. So basically a virtual class. Um, so far they've been going really well. We've had some good attendance from them. We've gotten some great feedback. Uh, some of the things that I've been hearing from people were that they weren't getting a great warm up prior to doing some of these things. It was just like going into the workout sort of thing. So that's something we're really stressing. We wanna get you warm, we wanna get you moving, we wanna get those bodies primed for the workout and ready to go and even get some of that dynamic movement in. So some of the stuff that we don't normally do throughout the day, sort of getting some of that, that movement in the body, which is extremely beneficial. So um, we know the workouts are a bit more limited with equipment for some people than others. So uh, it's totally okay that you're you know, coming to these Zoom classes we're gonna modify it on the fly for you. So whatever you have or whatever you don't have, we're gonna work with that and still try to get you the best workout possible. Um, I know some people are, are a little frustrated with circumstances and not being able to come in and stuff like that, which is understandable, but it is kind of where we're at right now. One thing I do wanna stress is that you are doing the best you can with where you are, where, where you're at, what you have available to you, and trying to just keep moving as much as possible so we don't know how long this is going to last if it's going to be a total of six weeks or eight weeks or three months whatever it is um, we we want people to be able to move as much as possible now because later on it's going to be so much tougher to get going again um, are you going to be able to keep all the same you know fitness gains that you had before depends on what you have available to you right now and if you're actually doing that stuff and making use of it if you're someone who was doing a lot of weightlifting and you know hitting workouts five, six times a week, and now you're only doing three times a week, there's gonna be some losses there. But the main thing is that you're still moving and getting as much as you can out of your body right now. Um, some people are very limited, have like one dumbbell, one kettlebell, that's it. And then like they're, they're grinding their way through workouts and they're doing stuff that's going to be like, you know, four or five workouts a week, and you're gonna get a lot of benefit from that. So. The more you sit, the more sedentary you are, the less you do, the tougher it's gonna be to come back from that. And then mentally and physically, the tougher it's gonna be to, to come out of that as well. So my suggestion, definitely keep moving, do as much as you possibly can. Um, you know, Going on a walk and stuff like that, definitely great to get outside, get some fresh air. Um, but I would say all of you are more capable than that as well. So you know, turn that, that walk into a bit of a jog or something like that. Make sure you're bending, lifting, twisting, um, using all the movements you would use in the gym and, uh, and try to get as much out of that as possible. But anyways, if you have any questions, uh, if you're having any trouble getting into any classes, definitely let us know and we're gonna help you out. Sometimes I'll get a text or an email um, of someone struggling to get in and it's just some work on uh, the back end that we gotta do to, to help you out and get you into those Zoom classes. But um, hopefully you're enjoying the workouts still and making use of them and um, yeah, Tag us in some stuff. Let us know that you're that you're still doing it. I know people are posting a lot in the uh, Facebook group, which is awesome. So happy to see that, and on Instagram as well. So keep at it. Don't stay sitting too still for too long, and 